And so it is with a heavy heart that I announce the DC hierarchy of power has once again changed. Dwayne The Rock Johnson went on social media to pinky promise that he's not done with Black Adam yet, baby. Let's talk about it. At what point does this just become comically sad? That Dwayne The Rock Johnson said the DC is now focused on Black Adam as the new symbol for the franchise? Or the fact that he had Henry Cavill announce via social media that he's back as Superman, only to announce a few weeks later that he's fired as Superman, only to be followed up with a few days later with The Rock saying, Black Adam's probably done too. I mean, come on, what, what, what is happening? I'll tell you what's happening. James Gunn doesn't like these movies. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure that out. Dwayne Johnson claims Black Adam made money. He talked to the accountants. They <laughs> crunched the numbers together. Uh, I don't think it matters. Like, if it didn't make any money, but it was at least a good movie, James Gunn might have been like, yeah, we'll, we'll stick with it. But Black Adam wasn't an anti-hero. He was basically just another goody two-shoes character who I don't think was represented that way initially in the comics. But who cares? It's over. It's all over, Dwayne. Let's hear what you had to say. <clears throat> My passionate friends. Very powerful start out. I wanted to give you a long-awaited Black Adam update regarding the character's future in the new DC Universe. James Gunn and I connected, and Black Adam will not be in their first chapter of storytelling. However, DC and Seven Bucks have agreed to continue exploring the most valuable ways Black Adam can be utilized in future DC multiverse chapters. James and I have known each other for years, now we're getting personal, and have always rooted for each other to succeed. It's no different now, and I will always root for the DC and Marvel. To win, and win big. Win bigly, some might say. You guys know me, and I have very thick skin. And you can always count on me to be direct with my words. You can mark them, even. These decisions made by James and DC leadership represent their vision of DCU through their creative lens. Maybe not a lens The Rock shares. After 15 years of relentless hard work to finally make Black Adam, I'm very proud of the film we delivered for fans worldwide. I will always look back on the fan reaction to Black Adam with tremendous gratitude, humility, and love. Mm. We did great. To my very passionate and vocal Black Adam slash superhero genre fans, I love you. Thank you all uppercase, and I will always listen to you, uppercase again, and do my best to deliver and entertain you. What a hell of a month. Now we all need some Terramana. I don't know what that is. I genuinely don't know what that is. Have a productive week and a happy holidays, uppercase, to you and your families. DJ, short for Dwayne Johnson. Or Dick Jar. I actually, maybe both. Well, there you have it. Not quite the gift some were hoping to unwrap this holiday season, right? Me personally, I, I don't give two shits. I want them to burn it down and start over. DCU or DCEU, as it initially was referred to for some dumb reason, was a complete disaster. It was a train wreck. The Snyder cult will continue to cry and, and bitch and moan that Zack Snyder's done and his vision couldn't be completed. I think he took his vision pretty far. I think we kind of see the... Skeletal remains of some of his decisions. Uh, they continue to echo through the ether like a fat child crying for a Hershey's bar. I don't want any more of it. Let James Gunn take the wheel. Let's see what he does. Let, give it to the gun now. Let him have his turn. Could be a disaster, sure, but he has a good track record if you like his style, if you, if you like his uh, approach to things. I mean, he took the Guardians of the Galaxy, made him gold. He spun it. Some people are complaining that if he burns it all to the ground, he should get rid of Peacemaker, he should get rid of the Suicide Squad. I don't really have a stance there. I can see their point to a degree, although I think that those are kind of reboots to begin with. Sure, they piggyback off some of the characters previously established, but they do very much feel like their own thing. Um, again, not, not a big deal either way. These comic book movies are kind of overstaying their welcome. There are other movies out there, believe it or not, that aren't superhero related, and I encourage people to watch them because they're actually really good. A lot better than the stale shit we've been getting lately. Hopefully, in Gun We Can Trust, 
Dwayne Johnson, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking you're done, dude. Probably for the next few years. Maybe they'll throw him a bone, have him come back as kind of a darker version of Black Adam. Maybe the one that people were expecting to see on the big screen and not just another The Rock character. But I do feel like this is damage control. Dwayne Johnson definitely is a huge name. He's super popular. He does have an ego. I mean, I don't know how you couldn't at that level. And he wants to make sure people know like, hey, I didn't screw up. I'm not out. They can't kick me out. I'm, I'm very much still in play in this. I'm a huge A-list celebrity. We're gonna, we're gonna still smell what The Rock's cooking down the road. But for right now, we're just gonna temper expectations and see what happens before my glorious return. And that's fine. We'll see. We'll see. I think he has the I think he has the chops to put out something pretty impressive, but the stuff that I've seen him in is just such a lukewarm, mediocre affair. Let's push this dude a little bit harder, see his range, which I think he can produce, and uh, we'll all be better off for it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments about this. Are you disappointed that Black Adam is one and done? Do you think Shazam's gonna go the same route? Do you think Aquaman's over? Do you think this Blue Beetle thing is uh, kind of a waste of time? I wanna hear it. Like the video if you had some fun. Make sure to subscribe for more videos. I post movie-related content each and every week on the channel. Would love to have you stick around. And with that, I take my leave. Hey, thanks again for watching the video. Since you're still here, maybe you like what I'm doing so much that you're interested in helping out. If so, think about becoming a Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies, where the support starts at just $1. If you want to get crazy with it, you can go all the way up to 30, and at that level, I let you pick out a movie, and I have to review it and give you a shout out. It's a sweet deal. I also have a second channel that I just started called Adam After Dark. It's a skit channel. It's got two to three minute videos on there. Very funny, very light and breezy. Uh, it needs some love. It, we're, we're trying to hit that first thousand subs still. It's, it's only a week or two out. So let's, let's nurture this baby and, and get it big. All right, I appreciate your time. Thank you very much.